This is part two of the Iron Horse Ramble. Check out that grade crossing guard house there, and the fire engine, the bombed out building, and this lovely caboose. I don't know what town this is. This is part two of the Iron Horse Ramble, and the last part. This is a movie shot by my father on October 17, 1964, the last Iron Horse Ramble trip. My father and I went on this trip together, and I had no idea what I was in, what was in store for me. In the sense that it was just a glorious day. It's what you call in Pennsylvania an Indian summer. That's perhaps some of the best weather you'll ever see anywhere. And my dad had told me we were going to ride a train, but he didn't tell me it was going to be like this. <laughs> and it was a full day, I mean a long day, starting very early in the morning to get down to the Reading Terminal. And I got to hang my head out the window, even though there were things like tunnel portals. It was a nice shot entering the tunnel and coming out the other side. Looks like we're the third car from the end. This is a photo stop at another nameless Pennsylvania town. My father was intrigued by this through truss bridge in this picturesque Pennsylvania village. The trees were into their glorious autumn colors in a big way on this day. It just added to the beauty. Look at that river. If you know what town this is or any of these towns, please write a comment. Look at the length of this train. That's me walking over to the edge. This is the baggage car and they had the baggage doors wide open with just a couple three bars there to keep people from falling out and I tested my dad on this and he let me get by with it so I was one happy ten-year-old now our baggage car at this point the train is coupled up to a diesel electric locomotive and the baggage car is right coupled behind the loco which you'll see here this is the locomotive as seen through the end door of the car. That was an F7 covered wagon for all you diesel electric fans. And that's a Sperry rail detector car. I've been on a few of those in my railroad career. It's used for finding defects in the rail. This is likely in West Milton, Pennsylvania, the ultimate destination of our trip. Here they are. They've changed out the diesel locomotive and in its place they're putting the steam back on. This is 2102. Coupled to the front of 2102 is 2100. I think the 02 is a freight engine and it had a distinct, distinctive mournful kind of whistle. And the other engine was considered a passenger engine and it had a more lively whistle, more traditional steam whistle. Slowly backing up to make the couple. That's me wishing I could be up there with the fireman. And of course, if I look at him long enough, maybe he'll get the, the point and let me go up there. But he didn't. And that never did work for me. I don't know why. <laughs> Here's some doubleheader action. Check this out. That's what they call heavy metal thunder. And my dad shot this with the telephoto lens. We're nearing the end of the film. At the end here is a clip of what looks like Philadelphia City Hall with scaffolding on it. Why, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the film, and please feel free to make comments.